Hi friends, it's me, Miss Liz, and we're back again for some fun stories. So, before we get started, we have to practice our sign language. Are you guys ready? Let me see your hands if you're ready to practice your sign language. All right, friends, so let's get started. So, the sign language that we've been working on that we're gonna continue to work on is God help. Yeah? So let's review it together, ready? So you take one hand, okay? And you just go right down the middle, just like that. That's how we say God. So we go from the top, we go up and down. Again, up, down, again, up, down. Keep going, and this is how you sign God. Good, God, one more time, and we go from the top, and we go God. Good job. Now, we're gonna take one hand, almost like you're asking for something. Put your hand out. And then you take your other hand, make it like a rock, and go boom, just like this, okay? So let's do it again. We have one hand, like this, okay? Other hand's like a rock, and we go boop. Now, I need to see your thumb. There you go. And all you're gonna do is go up. Good, again, up, again, up. One more time, up, and that means help. So the sign that we're doing is God help. <gasps> wow, so there's so many times, there's so many situations where maybe we're scared, maybe we're not sure, maybe we're confused, and we need to say God help. Okay friends, so now Jasmine is going to read our story then we're gonna have Miss Yvette come back and she's gonna sing a special song that she made for us. Ready guys? Okay, so let's get started. Okay friends, so now we're gonna read our story. Jasmine, do you wanna tell them what story we're reading today? Yeah, Noah's Ark. That's right, we're reading the story of Noah's Ark. So, Noah's Ark is about an amazing man named Noah who obeyed God. During Noah's time, people were, they were acting wicked. They weren't listening to God and they were making God really sad and really angry. Yeah. And they weren't obeying him. So God gave Noah a very, very important job. What was the job he gave him? God told Noah to build an ark. That's right. God told Noah to build an ark. And this ark was to be huge. It was humongous. Yeah. So, God told Noah to build the ark. Now, can you imagine what it must have been like to build something as big as this? What do you think Noah felt? He was probably scared. Worried. Worried. Maybe he had some doubts. But what happens when we go through that stuff? What do we say to God? We say, God, God help. help. Yes, we have to say God help. Because when God gives us a job, a lot of times it might be overwhelming or it might be scary, but we have to say, God, God help. help. So Noah built the ark, the huge, big ark. He built it. Yeah. And then God commanded him to bring onto the ark two of every animal. Wow, he had to bring in two of every animal. So that's what Noah did. After he built the ark, he got two of every creature and they came onto the boat with him and his family. Yeah. So then they stayed in the ark for seven days before it even started to rain. Wait a minute. God told Noah that a flood was coming, but he was in the boat for seven days before it even started to rain. That's a lot of faith. But then guess what? Then it started to rain. It started to rain. And then the waters filled up really, really high. There was a lot of water. And the whole earth was flooded, but what happened? 
Noah and his family were safe because they were in the ark. That's right. Noah and his family and the animals that he brought, they were safe because they were in the ark. Wow. So then, the water continued to rise for 150 days. Then, the rain stopped. But that wasn't the end because Noah and his family and all the animals had to wait on the ark. They had to wait and they had to wait a really long time. So then, Noah sent out a raven and the raven didn't come back. So then he knew it's not time yet. So he waited some more and then he sent out what? What did he send? A dove. A dove. And the dove came back with an olive branch. Wow. So that's how Noah knew that it was time, that it was okay. So he waited a little bit longer and then him and his family came out of the ark and they were safe. And that was it. Wow. And they were safe from the flood that had just taken place. Isn't that amazing, friends? Well, what's amazing is that Noah listened. He obeyed. And what happens when we obey God? We're protected. We're covered. God takes care of us, even if it's scary. Can you imagine, friends, if there's a huge storm with all this water covering the earth? He was probably scared, but because he obeyed God and he built this ark, he was safe because God protected him. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. So friends, whenever you're scared or you're confused and when we have doubts or when we're scared, what do we say? God help. That's right. We say God help and he will always be there to help us. Wow. wow. Okay. So now that we're done our amazing story, do you want to tell our friends what we're going to do next? Yeah! What are we going to do next, Jasmine? We're going to sing a song with Miss Yvette. That's right! We're going to sing a song with Miss Yvette. So, now I'm going to pass it off and Miss Yvette's going to join us. Hi, Jasmine. Thank you guys for joining me again for worship. Are you guys excited? So let's get to our worship song! God, please help me. God, please help me. I need you. I need you. Please hold my hand and tell me what to do. God, help me. I need you. God, please help me. God, please help me. I'm confused. I'm confused. Please hold my hand and tell me what to do. God, help me. I need you. God, please help me. God, please help me. I am scared. I am scared. Please hold my hand and walk with me. God, help me. I need you. God, please help me. God, please help me. I am weak. I am weak. Please hold my hand for you are my strength. God, help me. I need you. God has helped me. God has helped me. I may knew. I may knew. He held my hand and told me where to go. God helped me. Yes, he helped me. God has helped me. God has helped me. I understand. I understand. He told me where to go and he held my hand. God helped me. God helped me. God has helped me. God has helped me. I'm not scared anymore. He held my hand and told me what to do. God helped me, for he is my strength. God will help you. God will help you. Pray and trust. Pray and trust. Trust in God and God will help you. Trust God and he will help you. Trust in God and he will help you. Yay! We did it, friends! Thank you, friends! 
Thank you, Peppers. And thank you, Jasmine, for joining me for worship. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Wow. Wow. Wasn't that so much fun? I love when Miss Yvette sings a song for us. And that song is so important because we're saying, God, help when we need help, right? Yeah. And the story was really great. I hope you guys enjoyed story time, and I hope that you enjoyed singing with Miss Yvette. All right, friends. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you for singing with us. And thank you for tuning in and listening as we read a story. Okay, friends. Well, we'll see you next week as we continue to bring in new and more exciting stories from the Bible. All right, friends. See you later. Bye-bye.